My name's Doug Brigham. I'm the other co-president. Uh, I like to say I'm the lesser half of the co-presidency, uh, and that's, uh, that's always been true with Jim. But we are thrilled at the College of Idaho to host this event. For those of you that don't know, we're a small college, about 1,100 students on our campus, uh, predominantly students from Idaho, but we also have uh, students from 81 different countries, uh, which we are proud of. Over a third of our students are first-gen students. Over a third of our students identify as uh, students of color. Uh, and we're proud of the diversity. We're proud of the inclusion we have on this campus and, and uh, proud to share it today. And it's my thrill to introduce another student uh, who also has written a poem that she is going to share. Uh, Bezuit uh, Kasaira is here. She is a double major in both business and computer science, and we are thrilled to have her share her poem with you today. Thanks. a dream that I will not be assassinated from a place of hatred just because of my looks and my dreams appearing too big for my skin, unrealistic for where I was born, unconventional dreams I carry with me in my home. My skin is not a house, but I call it home. It's a traveler, diasporic, golden shining black. My skin has seen it all as it crossed the Atlantic and knows pain, growth, revolution, harassment, racism, discrimination, but it also knows love, community, hustle, perseverance, nature, kindness, and humility. But there's one thing my skin longs for, freedom. It has started to taste it, but it's always mixed with racial profiling, sugar-coated with structure, politics, covert racism that seems to bring it down when it starts to spread its wings, when it starts to have hopes and dreams, boxing it in a checklist of stereotypes that it constantly tries to but fails to meet, hence believes it's not worthy of being accepted as it is. It's tired of being a statistics except to just increase the diversity numbers, required to fit certain characteristics, tick, tick, tick the check mark that fit the history of my skin into a box. But my true character lives in the in-between spaces. My true character has roots in beyond stereotypes. And as an immigrant, I might carry that box everyone seems to like. But as a traveler, I carry my heart that lives in the in-between spaces. I carry my home with all its history and tell my story, my truth, that no one else can write in a history book. So I also have a dream beyond those small empty boxes, waiting for me to check, check, check them. Be it a doctor, engineer, leader, actor, or a poet, and I do not seek to satisfy my skin's thirst for freedom by drinking from a cup of hatred and bitterness. Because darkness can't drive out darkness, only light can do that. So I give out love and act from a place of serenity and hope to bring peace and equality to the climate that we are constantly killing with our endless fighting. And I hope the world to feel what I am feeling. And that is what I keep on dreaming. So I also have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream that I will be known for my character instead of my skin color. Thank you. <laughs> 